Hello and welcome to another electronics video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I managed to turn on my 3L01i Russian CRT. Now, part that you can see on the whiteboard here is the voltage multiplier circuit, and this is how I'm uh, managing to generate the high voltage needed for it, uh, which this is going to produce about 260 volts of DC, which seems to work for my setup. So on the input here, you can see we've got 120 volts AC, and where I live, it's about 60 hertz. So on the first half of the cycle, so say that this is zero volts here, on the first half of the cycle, it's going to become positive. So this top rail will be plus, and this uh, bottom rail will be negative. And for schematic purposes, common will just be my system ground. So the electrons are going to want to come in this way, okay? and they don't want to flow this way because of this diode. It will be reverse biased. So instead they come down this way through the common and back up into this capacitor where then they return through this diode through the resistor and back. So that generates on the first half of the cycle 130 volts by charging up this capacitor to around 130 to 170 volts and in my testing it seems to be at 130. So then, that's good, but we need the other half of the cycle in order to generate the 260. So, on the other half, when it becomes negative, this polarity reverses. So now this is a negative, and this is a positive. So, the electrons are going to want to come this direction, through this resistor, back down through the diode, because now this one is uh, forward biased, and this one's reverse biased, uh, and charge up this capacitor and then return through the uh, common. So this is basically how uh, the whole setup. So this one will charge up to 130 volts this way and now if you connect between this one, this terminal here, and this terminal here you'll have about 260 volts because these are put in series. So basically if you look at it, if this was drawn a little bit differently, you would see a capacitor look like this. This would be the common. And then down you'd have the other capacitor, which is the negative one. And then this is the negative 130. And this here is the positive 130. So this is what it does, is it puts them in series to double the voltage, and that's how this works. Now that I've shown you the voltage multiplier circuit to create the 260 volts DC necessary to turn on the CRT, I'm going to show you how I've actually wired that to it. And to start off with, I'm going to uh, show you how I've connected the filament. It's just simple. I've taken a little 6 volt DC wall adapter and connected it straight to pins 1 and 14 just to power the filament, heat it up. So then uh, going to the next pin, the cathode, as well as the control grids, pins 2 and 3. I've connected them to the uh, negative 130 volt supply from the voltage multiplier. That way I can have the lowest potential on them as possible. Then coming over to anode 1, um, we've connected that to common, so that'll be about 130 volts higher than the cathode. And then anode 2 will be connected via pin 9 to the 130 volt supply. So there'll be a two, uh, yeah, 260 volt potential between the cathode and the second anode. Then to center the beam, I've just connected pins 7, 8, 10, and 11 straight to the 130 volts because those are the, the deflection beam plates and I just want to center it just to make sure I can see the beam. Now that I have explained how to turn on the CRT and display a dot on the screen, I'm going to show you how to change what the dot looks like and how to control it. So up here in the corner, you probably recognize this. This is the voltage multiplier circuit from the previous clip. It still has the negative 130 volt rail, the positive 130 volt rail, and the common, which is zero volts. It's slightly different in that now it has a, an isolation transformer. It's not really anything fancy, it's just a 120 to a 120 volt transformer. Um, but to start off with, 
I'm going to show you the positive 130 volt fail comes across down here and it feeds into the deflection plates like it did before as well as the second anode. But it is slightly different now in that it comes across and not only connecting to those, it also connects to this one mega ohm uh, potentiometer which goes between the 130 volt oil and the negative 130 volt oil. This would drain the capacitors once you switch this off and it also is used to change the voltage potential that is applied to the first anode. You adjust this to change the focus and uh, diameter of the dot on the screen. Then, if we come over to this negative 130 volt oil, we can forward down to the cathode, like it was in the previous schematic, but it also now comes to the emitter of this NPN transistor, the side of this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, which ties the base of the transistor to ground, or to the negative oil. Uh, it connects this 39 kilo ohm resistor to the negative oil, and the negative side of this 3 volt battery pack. Coming back up to the 0 volt rail, we can follow it down to this 33 kilo ohm resistor, and this 100 kilo ohm potentiometer, which comes back into the 39 kilo ohm resistor. Using this potentiometer, we can adjust the voltage threshold, or the voltage that is applied to the control grid, and thus we can change what potential the grid will be cut off at, and that's why it's been labeled cut off. Normally I adjust this to around uh, 90 to 100 volts uh, relative to the negative supply. Then, you're probably wondering, well, what do you do with this transistor? This will turn on the beam when it's get, been given a voltage. So that's what this battery pack does. When you close this switch, the voltage will go through and go through this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and turn on the base of the transistor, which will activate it. And the voltage that's been applied here, so this 90 to 100 volts DC, will come through this 10 kilo ohm resistor, through the transistor, and down to the negative oil. This will turn on the um, beam because it will bring the rail to around zero volts DC relative to the cathode. I'm going to show you the schematic wired up now, so switch over to that. So here is the schematic that you just saw, only wired up. Here is the isolation transformer, the voltage multiplier, the 100k potentiometer for cutoff, the 1 mega ohm potentiometer for the first anode voltage, the 3 volt battery pack, the 4.7 kilo ohm resistors that attach to the base of the um, NPN transistor. Here is the 39 kilo ohm resistor, the 10 kilo ohm resistor, and back here is the uh, 33 kilo ohm resistor. And here is the 3L01I CRT. It's resting on top of a little block, so you can see it. I've currently got the filament supply plugged in, in the little wall adapter. And I'm going to be uh, generating the 120 volts AC to turn this on, using a little power supply. It's just a little inverter. So I'll feed it with a 12 volt supply. So here we go. Turn this on. And I've also got a little neon bulb here. So you can see on the screen, there is nothing uh, being displayed. And the reason is, this here is the base of the transistor. It's that switch that I showed you is currently open. But when I connect it, you will see a little dot appear. And I'll get up a close up. I'll get a close up of this, but. Uh, in a moment, but whenever I connect it, the dot appears, thus turning it on. So when it's disconnected, I'm reading about 94 and a half volts on the uh, control grid. And when I connect it, I'm reading about 0 0.01 volts. So almost zero. Then I can adjust the cutoff. So even though the base is not connected right now, you can see I can still get the beam to turn on just by adjusting the cutoff 
because now it's only at about 31 volts, which is enough to turn on the beam. And then I can also change the focus of this by using the anode 1 control. So I'll adjust that back to cutoff. And then when I connect this, you'll see that come back. And then to focus it again, I'll just change this resistor until it gets as small as possible. And then that will turn the beam on and off. So here is the tube a little bit closer up, so now you should be able to see it. So I'm going to connect that base connection again, the little switch to the battery pack. You can see the dot come. And then you can see if I adjust the focus, which is the one mega ohm potentiometer, you can see I change the size and focus of it. And change that back down to focused. And then I can also change the cutoff which will change the focus if the base transistor is being powered. If it's not being powered like it is here, it will just adjust where it cuts off. So I adjust it to where I can no longer see the dot, and then I will connect the base transistor again. Uh, one interesting thing to show you, just because we're down here, I want to show you the magnetic deflection of the beam by using a magnet as opposed to the deflection plates. So, fairly simple physics experiment here. And if I flip the magnet around, it behaves in the opposite direction. But I'd just show you that. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Uh, any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.